This presentation will show you how to write a linguistic research proposal. A research proposal is a summary of your research study which addresses what you propose to investigate. Your lecturer will either approve or reject your research proposal which depends on how practical and ethical your research study is to investigate. By the end of this presentation, you should be able to write a successful research proposal. In any linguistic research paper, you will have to include the following eight sections, but in a research proposal, you only need to include the sections highlighted in red. These include research title, introduction, literature review, method and references. The research title should be based on your readings from the current literature of your chosen topic. It should be specific so that it tells your reader what you are investigating and should sum up your research study in one title. For example, the globalisation of English in Indian advertisements, a comparison of a historical and modern fair and lovely television advertisement for Carson in India is a good research title because it tells a reader what kind of Indian advertisements will be studied, such as the fair and lovely skin lightening creams, and it also tells a reader what will be compared and where the advertisements were broadcasted. The introduction should be a summary of the current concepts and or key issues of your chosen topic. It should discuss why your research topic is worth investigating. For example, I would write that my research study is worth investigating because the study of Indian television advertisements has received little attention in the field of linguistics. Moreover, scholars have predominantly used print advertisement to reflect the globalisation of English in Indian advertisements, and therefore I wish to investigate my current topic. From the findings of the literature review, I have developed the following research questions. Question 1. What are the linguistic differences and or similarities between historical and modern fair and lovely television advertisements? Question 2. How frequently are the languages English and Hindi used in these advertisements? And finally, what functions do English and Hindi have in fair and lovely television advertisements? The literature review should be a summary of the current literature in your chosen topic, which includes findings from previous and most recent studies conducted by linguistic researchers. At the end of your literature review, you should include a list of research questions which you propose to investigate. For example, my literature review will discuss how over the last decade there has been an increase in the use of English in Indian advertisements. Interestingly, Pillar found that there tends to be a social stereotype associated with English where English tends to symbolise modernity, progress, globalisation, sophistication and a cosmopolitan identity. More recently, Bhatia and Ritchie compared the use of English in fair and lovely print advertisements and found that there was a 50% increase from the 1980s to the 1990s. The method section of the research proposal should include data collection which explains how the data will be collected and in some research studies how the participants will be recruited. This will mean you will have to state the number of participants you propose to use as well as their ages and gender. You will also need to address that the participants will be given consent forms in order to avoid any ethical issues. Other ethical issues may include confidentiality and anonymity of participants used in the study. Finally, you will need to describe how you will analyse your data, which is called the method of analysis. For example, in the method section of my research proposal, I would explain that the data will be collected from the official Fair and Lovely website as shown in the picture. Since a website is a public online resource which archives historical and modern fair and lovely television advertisements, no ethical issues need to be addressed. The method of analysis I propose to use is Baldry and Tybalt's multimodal transcription because it offers a methodological tool 
for the transcription of audiovisual text such as television advertisements as shown in the picture. The framework uses a matrix to explore the complex way meaning is made and interpreted through many communicative and representation modes such as visual image, visual action, transcription and background sound rather than just language. The references section should be placed at the end of your research proposal. As shown in the example, it should include a list of all the references in alphabetical order which you have used to write your linguistic research proposal. The style of referencing which you will use will depend on whether you are using Harvard referencing or APA referencing. And finally, this last slide is just to quickly recap what you will need to include when writing your linguistic research proposal. Such sections include research title, introduction, literature review, method and references.